In a variety of situations, you may need to apply the exact same adjustments to multiple images. One example of that would be in a situation where you've created a composite panorama. In other words, I've captured multiple images in sequence, and I want to combine all of those images into a single panoramic image of relatively high resolution. If I want to apply adjustments before creating that composite panorama, I need to apply the exact same adjustments to all of the images. There are two variations on the approach we can take in terms of applying the same adjustments to multiple images, and they both involve an approach to synchronization. I'll start off by clicking on the representative image that I want to use as the basis for my adjustments. I'll then select the additional images that I also want to apply the adjustments to. Having clicked on the second image in the sequence, I can hold the Shift key and click on the last image in the sequence. And then, to add the first image to the sequence, I can hold the Control key on Windows or the Command key on Macintosh while clicking on that final image. Now, I have all four images for my composite panorama selected on the film strip, and I have the image that I want to base my adjustments on as the active image so that I can use this image to evaluate my results. At this point, I can choose whether I want to automatically synchronize the images or manually synchronize the images. If I click the switch at the left side of the sync button, you'll see that the button becomes auto sync, and that really just indicates that the auto sync feature is turned on. However, this can sometimes slow down processing, and it doesn't leave me with the option of choosing which specific adjustments I want to apply versus not apply. Any adjustment I apply right now will be applied to all of the images. So in most cases, I'll simply turn off the auto sync option and instead synchronize when I'm finished with this single image. I'll start off by cleaning up the image. There's a dust spot here, and that is obviously a dust spot that was on the sensor as it appears equally in all of the images in this sequence. So I'll start off by cleaning up that dust spot, and then I'll click Done now that I'm finished cleaning up the image, and I'll apply a variety of adjustments that I want to affect all of the images. I might warm up the image just a little bit, perhaps increase vibrance, and in this case, I'm going to apply exaggerated adjustments so that we can see a better difference in the thumbnail views that we're seeing down below, and so I'm actually going to apply a black and white conversion to the image as well. I may or may not actually want to create a black and white panorama, but this will enable us to better see that the synchronization is actually taking effect. At the moment, because I've not turned on the Auto Sync option, you can see that only the image I'm currently working on has the adjustments applied to it. However, now that I'm happy with the result, I can go ahead and click the Sync button down at the bottom of the right panel, and that will bring up the Synchronize Settings dialog. Here, I can choose which specific adjustments I want to apply to all of the selected images. In this case, I want to apply all of the adjustments in exactly the same way, and so I want to have all of the checkboxes turned on. As needed, I can click the Check All button to ensure that all of the settings are selected for synchronization. If needed, though, I could also turn off some of these options if I don't want to apply all of the adjustments to all of the images. In this case, I do, though, so I'll go ahead and click the Synchronize button, and now all of the adjustments that I applied to this one representative image have been applied to all of the images, and that includes the dust spot removal so that the dust spot has been removed from all four frames in this panorama. So now, having applied the same adjustments to all of the images, I can assemble it as a panorama knowing that everything will go together very smoothly.